There we go. Hell yeah. 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 Happy yeah. Halloween. Happy Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm a Just screaming. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Halloween, everyone. Welcome to the Halloween. Kind of spooky, but not really because neither of our outfits are scary. In case you guys don't know, I'm the transporter. I'm Jason Bateman. I'm Jason Bateman. Jason, ba- <laughs> Jason, Jason Bateman is the transporter. And Lily is old, old McDonald at a farm. Yeah, but it's not really that clear. Uh, that you're that you, guy? Yeah, because if you knew me, you would know that like this is also something I would wear. People just thought you, you know, were just legit, a normal, maybe a farmer. Let's see. Here's the theatrical trailer for The Transport, just so you can get a feel for me. Oh, just, we're diving right in. Well, I mean, honestly, I'm just, uh, ever since I've shaved the head and now there's no beard. Oh, this is like an old movie. An old, 20, 2002. That's, this movie's about to be 20 years old. Wow. Jason, say something. Say something. Jason, say something. Say something. Huh? Now, how much would I have to change my personality to just do a full pivot and become the next Jason Statham? You just need to channel Uncle John and yeah. a federal judge. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and then you would nail it. <laughs> mind transporting something for me. No questions asked. Why not? So Jason Statham is eternal years old. La Femme Nikita. La Femme Nikita. Don't know what that that. is. I want to see that. The terms of that deal cannot be changed or renegotiated. Frank Martin is the best. Let's go. Does this? Yeah, you got to practice that. Yeah. Ooh. Sweet beer. Have a delivery. He never made a mistake until today. Oh no! (gasps) It's it's now. It's gonna be a woman. Yep. <gasps> what kind of date am I in? Deep trouble. You know what to do. And she just happens to be the one of the most beautiful. The hottest person I've ever seen. Also, this fucker. Quiet. Ooh. There we go. Oh, yeah. So, oh, big wow. bazooka. I miss wow. when movies were just about this. Bazookas. Yeah. Yeah. And saving the, saving and the saving woman. saving the hot chick. Yeah. And, and now maybe in the, in the you know, um, 20... 20 era, yeah. the hot chick can also have the cure to cancer. Of course. Because she's beautiful and also so smart. What? What? He's unbelievable. Wait, wait. <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to say they can do anything. There's a middle ground they can get- for success <laughs> for women. We don't go from it's object either, to it's cu- either cancer cure. Bang it ass titties <laughs> or she saves the world. There's the no that, in between. No, there isn't. I'm transporting <laughs> either. The, Honestly, um, for Jason Statham, <laughs> there is no in between. There is no in between. Literally, his wife is Rosie Huntington Whiteley. Look, I'm going to be honest with you right now. Is that? Did I say that right? The reason I shaved my head mm. is after I saw a picture of him with his wife, mm-hmm. I said, I can do it. I can also do that. I said, I can do that. Yeah. And I think you should convince um, everyone to shave. Like, you know what I mean? I think it's a look. I think it's a look that's coming into the forefront. I'm telling you like, right now, hot. I don't know if I'll ever go back. I don't think you should. I don't know if I'll ever go. I mean, I am still taking stuff from my hair, so I think I want to grow it back one more time just to see mm-hmm. as like a goodbye old friend. Sure. But <laughs> don't look at me like that. I just think that's but, really um, going to hurt. But it's for me, though. Okay, yeah, no, no, hey, no, no, no. Hey, totally. worst thing that happens, I grow it out. I go, hey, guys, look how bad this looks. Yeah, now and you know that it's actually. Mm-hmm. But it's great, dude. I'm loving it. Um, you should. It's a different look mm-hmm. with no beard as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think there has to be even more confidence with no beard as well. Yes. But I can grow I can and grow. Which into I think that. I like where your brain went. Yeah. I like that. You were like, let's really lean in. Let's be. Yeah. Full confidence. That is the sole characteristic of a Jason Statham movie. What, what is do you need? confidence. It's just this. No, this is him. Literally. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'm on it. Literally no self-doubt. Just like you I'm the man for the day. He made no mistakes I until today. You know what his mistake was? Not uh, He didn't put the woman in the car. It was it, Yeah, you know what? It was the villain's mistake. Right. So that's what I mean about like I miss Jason movies. Jason Statham is like, you know, I don't support. Right. Sex trafficking. Right, exactly. Yeah. Like the only flaw in the male character in these movies is that they are at the wrong place at the wrong time. Otherwise, they're perfect. they're perfection. Honestly, wow, I really just miss toxic, toxic masculinity. Yeah, I miss these old. Well, because at least there was no 
there was there was no point. No, they're the not movie. telling that. It, there's there's no, no subtext. No. There's no theme. The theme is oh god, guy saves the woman. I and we all like we that. We are living in subtext right now. We are living and we all like. Hey, mm -hmm. I do a job, yeah, and then I find out something that messes with my morals, right. and my scruples, yeah, and my then scruples. I, and then I demur, yeah, okay, <laughs> and that's a word that I learned this week. I think it's demure. I demur. You're right. It's I demur. It's demi more <laughs> it's demi -more. and demur. I demur. Okay, <laughs> D E M E U R. But the, yeah. here's the thing: I was confused because there's also demur with an e, which I think means like a woman being like kind of coquettish or whatever. It's the right? same word, but it depends on how it's used. Oh, I thought it was. So with if an you're e. demurring, no, demur is reserved, modest, and shy. Right. Okay. That's D E M U R. U R E. Okay, demure. Demure. Demure, and she's kind of demure when she's saying that. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then demure, not demure, but then demure with no e. Demur. Oh, demur. Demur. Okay, demur. Raise doubts or objections or show reluctance. Oh, that's such an interesting. Hmm. And Statham is not only demurring, he's objecting. He is. I He object. sees her and he goes, I demur this. And then he goes, actually, I object. <laughs> he doesn't he doesn't <laughs> raise doubt no. or objections. He just objects. He just objects. And you know what? He follows through. That is what men are lacking, if we may dive in. It's they accountability. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Radio Lab Hour. This is, this is the, the NPR Podcast Hour. Shocking We're going up. statistics of the Men decline in lack uh, lack accountability and commitment. We're here with our reporter Lily McCausland. Old MacDonald. <laughs> old, old, we're here with our reporter Old MacDonald, who's seen it on her farm. Yeah, <laughs> that's right, her farm. Yeah, on her farm, all the male ki all the male pigs, absolutely no accountability. <laughs> That's hilarious. They do. A, they you know do what I also miss? I was. I was. They definitely pigs are lacking in accountability. Oh, I was saying Johnny men. Five O. No, oh. men. Maybe. Maybe a bit of a. We're not committing enough. N I, not I, even to yourself. You're right. I'm not even to, to your core. If you, I met a guy two two nights ago at a okay. party. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. Yeah, baby. Oh, the end of the, end of the night was yeehaw. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> but, but what I. Oh no! Wait. All I'm gonna say is tips hat. Okay. <laughs> You know what it is, ladies. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it's round them up. <laughs> you walking into a yo, you walking into a Halloween party with that on, you go, yo, <laughs> round them up, ladies. Let me get a. Better, we got ourselves a hog chase. <laughs> let me get a closer look today. <laughs> you just walking. I'm down. looking for a prize shank. Mm. Mm. And then every time you walk, for some reason, it has the horse. You know, mm. Yes, because that's or that the, ass. Or, or, you, or you have the stirrups, <laughs> and then it goes on you, and you go, "That's a nice one right there." Yeah, I'm what's your asking price? Twenty five, twenty six. <laughs> used used to work in finance, but reformed. Had a change oh. of heart. Nonprofit. Oh, mm. saddle up. Let's get going. Let's get. Let's, let's ride. <laughs> let's ride. <laughs> <laughs> you take him upstairs. <laughs> But he's on my back. <laughs> yeah, 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 for some reason. <laughs> and I'm like, that's what I'm into. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. That's anyway, my thing. So what I liked about him mm -hmm. was that like he gave no answer that wasn't clear. Uh, so I was I like, like that a lot. you know, do you have a girlfriend? Not really. What does that mean? I'm fucking someone where I live. Wow. Very frank. Love it. But I like that. Love it. Answers. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That is nice answers. Thing. And then you get to decide what you want to do with that. Exactly. And then, uh, and then I was like, "Hey, are you all good?" And he was like, uh, "Probably." And I was like, "What?" And he was like, "Well, I haven't gotten tested in a while, but there's been no new symptoms." And I was like, "All right, let's ride that." Checking out, you're let's like, "Take that risk." Let's ride. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I mean, you got the whole checklist. I know, but so it was nice. At because, least he was up front. Yeah, he could have been like, yes. "Yeah, yeah," right. But instead, he was like, "Probably." I love and that. And that's a and that's a more honest answer. It is because he's staying true to the fact that he's a little. Exactly. Not proactive. He's about being honest with who he is. Sexual. Sexual. But also he's saying, hey, based off of but I, I'm who good. I've been with and yeah. what's been going on, mm -hmm. most likely not. He's got no news from anyone. Right. So it was like a really no nice. News. Hey, no news is good news. Absolutely. No news is you good news. You know what's really great? I got my bill from my um, cancerous mole oh, removal and nice. never a call. And I was like, Okay, like, that's mm, adulthood, honestly. No news is good news. No news is good news, but here's an $150 the bill. The craziest <laughs> part is that I'm growing new moles on my head. 
I have a new one right in the top. Okay. And new moles are a situation. And he's a big guy, too. Where is he? Are you sure it's new and you just didn't notice? Maybe I didn't know, but look at, look at him. Oh, he is a big guy. A big that guy. could also be a sunspot. But he feels pretty pretty round. Oh, definitely we all checked the, out. No, no, that's good. We oh. all know the A, B, C, D, E. Oh, irregular. Yes. Asymmetrical. Yep. Bumpy. No, oh. border. Sorry, border. asymmetrical. Border. border. Uh, color. color. Uh, evolving. No, D. No. You said A, B. A, B, C, D. Oh, yeah, D. Um, <laughs> diameter. <laughs> <laughs> still, still, even though I'm you fully fucked proven up the wrong, alphabet. I'm still like, nah, it's her, it's just dumb woman's <laughs> fault. Yeah. Hey, keep up, lady. I'm keep up. <laughs> You're like, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> and that's what women deal with on a daily basis. <laughs> D, diameter. Nice. E, evolving. Very and good. I think that's it. I think so, too. No and, letters skipped. And you know, when the um, dermatologist told me that, mm. I looked at her and I was like, evolving. Why they got to make it so? I go, just make it changing. Yeah. <laughs> I go, just make it changing. A, B, C, D, changing D. A, B, C, C, D. A, B, C, C, yeah. A, B, C, C, D. Evolving. Um, wh- why are we talking what about What is it? Why are we talking it about found God again? Why are we talking about evolutionary theory? Enough. What if I'm a creationist? Whoa. Okay. Then she goes, Dylan is a, a creationist. C, C, D, E. And then the second C is creating more by the almighty God. Yeah, Maybe way. God's looking at your mole and he's going, get bigger. Yeah. He's throwing moles at you. <laughs> mole! When he's like feeling like he needs to fuck something up, but he can't do anything yeah, he's too just big. pissed off. Yeah, he's like, but he's annoyed. He's doing a thing where like his Bluetooth keeps not connecting oh, and it I annoys him. And he's like, you know what? Mole! Yeah. <laughs> Boom. Someone just, keeps praying for like oh more time God. for their mortgage and you're he's like, so get it annoying. together. He goes, you're the one that did that fixed AP. It's <laughs> your fault. <laughs> I gave you guys free will. Literally. Liberty Mutual. Best race. Susan, enough with the mortgage. Suzanne. Suzanne. There's a hunger crisis all over the world. Enough. Arizona's about to be scorched off the earth. Arizona is scorched earth. All right. The rapture is happening in Arizona (laughs) early. He's like, you know what you assholes did? You. You push forward the rapture. Yeah, we're supposed to be about a couple hundred years more, but all your goddamn fossil fuels. Now, the rapture's happening in Arizona. I guess who's going to be the fossil fueling? Us. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting burned. Brontosaur, no. <laughs> Wait, I actually saw a really, because um, I'm going to be completely honest. Yeah. I've been pretty disillusioned by politics recently. Oh, In totally. a way that's been making me, like, pretty upset almost. Yeah, like, really not looking forward just to the not, future. Like, not caring. Um, everyone, I just go, is like. Um, Everyone's a crook. Everyone. Everyone's Both sides, a crook. and we don't Both talk about sides. politics too much in the show because we don't. People, what's to say? And also, people are thinking about it every. Wait, I must say, sorry, the way you made the hat fit on your head with yeah. the headphones, yeah, it looks marvelous. Does it? I didn't even notice that you were wearing it over. I know it kind of yeah. gives me this. Actually, I feel like a prospector. Like I feel like a, an affluent. Um, Western character. Yeah, I feel that. Like I'm not like, just like the. You're the old kind of McDonald's. woman that walks by and then someone goes. You see that lady right there? She's the first she's, sheriff of Moab. She's an oil billionaire. Yeah. Yeah, and you'd yeah, never, yeah. And you'd never know by her having only... she's modest. Only one of her overalls tucked in. But, you know, but guess what? The day she struck oil, one of them was untucked. And she, she's never she's never tucked the other one. Never strapped the other one back. It couldn't be trapped. Yeah, couldn't be trapped. No, I want to be... Yeah, and that guy that... next to her, that's a transporter. I'm a transporter. <laughs> <laughs> trapped. <laughs> anyway, what are you showing me? Oh, uh, okay. But thank you for saying that. Of course. I think it's actually giving me a nice shadow. Do you know what I mean? It is giving you a good shadow. It's giving it's, me... But your face is... It's yeah. being framed very nicely. like that very much. Yeah, it's nice. Oh, also, I was going to say, you ha- you bring the hat next time you see a man, and at the end, you go, evening. Mm-hmm. After, after you finish, put the hat back on, Absolutely. and you go, evening. And, and I leave and you my walk room. out. <laughs> <laughs> And just make him feel uncomfortable. So then a, he, he has to leave. Yes. If a woman left me alone in her room, I'm like, first of all, I'm doing this. Yeah. Hey. But that means she has better things I'm to do. I'm maybe looking around for tops two minutes, just mm. kind of like confused. Mm-hmm. And then I go, I guess I got to put my clothes on and get out of here. Yeah. That way there's no conversation needed. If you don't read that gesture as get the fuck out, something's wrong with you and she'll never see you again. That's going to bring the guy Done. back, though. If she goes, I got work to do. Really? It's 2 a.m., though. I have more to do. Tokyo's awake. I'm you, an oil billionaire, and you, go, and you expect and me then, to be on your go, timetable? I go, Tokyo, you work at H&M. She goes, 
Tokyo's awake. He just keeps it. I go, I'm not going to challenge. I'm not going to challenge this anymore. Tokyo's awake. Tokyo. She works at H&M. Yeah, she works at H&M at the front desk, by the way. She's a cashier at H&M. Yeah. Or is she not? Or is she, or is that a front? Front CIA. For being the trans. trans. She's the female transporter. Yes. Now, I could fuck, because they're, oh, re- they're, they're rebooting a lot of movies, yeah. and they're, they're horrible. They're choosing the they're wrong They're choosing a lot of movies ones. and just throwing women into it. Yes. And everyone's like, guys, we saw what you're doing. You have yes. no creativity. This is annoying. I know. But a female transporter? I want that. I I, I want that fuck hard. With that. Maybe a Jessica Chastain yeah. type. Oh, okay, but maybe someone yeah. with a little bit of grit to them. Yes. Yeah, I would like Honestly, that a lot. Honestly, if she like could like rework her energy, I could see like a Phoebe Waller Bridge. You know what I mean? Which one's that? A flea bag. Oh, okay, yeah. Like if she did the thing that Kumail Nanjani did. Oh, you mean take steroids? Oh. <laughs> Is that what he did? Yeah, everyone's, try, everyone's trying to say how that was natural. No, right? Your face doesn't change <laughs> yeah. past 30 yeah. without some kind of okay. P- P- yeah, P- to something that's up. Now look, but, which by the way, yeah. I'm all for it. Yeah, totally. I wish he came out and said that he actually did that. But yeah, I don't Disney think he sanctioned can. steroids. Exactly. Yeah. I don't think he can say he's on. I mean, look, The Rock is 100% on HGH. Is he? Yes. His head has changed. You <laughs> don't stay that big and ripped naturally it's very very rare i would say <laughs> his head has changed his head has changed skulls shape. don't grow they don't unless skulls you're on hgh skulls don't, don't grow, grow. Oh. 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 wait hold on you go high i go low right. skulls, skulls don't, don't grow, grow. Oh. that was good very good um now let's watch this video okay i actually got two okay um one of them is Look at the state of our president. And mm. then another one is like, mm. let's support this senator. Okay. Maybe let's start with the um, positive one. Yeah, let's start with. Right? Let's start with. No, no let's, let's start not. with the negative Let's okay. start with the negative one. Okay. I have a lot of thoughts on Joe Biden. And. Look, we're all happy he's here. But I just. I, this is just this, I think. <laughs> just a weird. This is a weird video. He makes me. Uncomfortable. Yeah. I think we need to set an age limit on the president. Without a doubt. And I you think can't it needs to be 60. To, you cannot run to be president. At I 80. I think if you're under 65. Or if you're over 65. I agree. I would say. Even 60 is a little, 65 is a little old. But 65 we, is... But we have to, the thing is we have to slowly push the barrier back so that all the old people don't get scared. Yeah. And then slowly push it on them. And then once... You know, one generation dies, then we push it back to 60. But I that think kinda... our parents' generation agrees with us. I mm-hmm. say this, my, my dad says it all the time. He's like, literally no one should be, like, questionably lucid. They, 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 <laughs> they also don't know what one of the senators asked a representative from Facebook, uh, will you commit to banning Finstagram? And she was like, Senator... We don't have an app called Finstagram. A fi- oh, he said, will you ban Finsta? Uh, and she, he, she was like, a Finsta is a name for a fake Instagram. Like, you shouldn't be a senator of the and country. And not know that. Or not have been briefed by one of your, you know what I mean? Who's your assistant? Yeah. Can their ass. Fired. Bye. Sorry. Embarrassing. Let's go. Um, so this is Joe Biden meeting the Pope. Sure. And he's, he just gave him like a commemorative coin. Okay. And now he's... Uh, explaining to him a story about Jackie Robinson that makes almost no sense. And you're just like... I almost don't want to say it. Thank you. Okay. It's the Pope, by the way. Now, I'm already just watch the Pope's face. Yeah. Even he is like, the fuck is going also, on Also, right this here? Pope, it's so funny how he's like a cult hero. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Wait, what do you mean? Like, this Pope is a person that, since he's been Pope, mm-hmm. non-Catholics... Have been like at we least he's a yeah he's a good he's guy. a way better guy yeah, 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 yeah. you know like I love that for the Catholic Church mm-hmm. but I still think they should be dismantled disbanded yeah okay. or maybe not be so rich thank you for that you know, the thank famous African American baseball player never good I know Americano Afroamericano wait 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 I just realized so Pope Francis is trying to get out of this encounter so hard. Joe Biden starts talking to him and he does the I don't speak English thing where he goes, I know, I know. <laughs> listen, listen. Baseball player in America. 
I know. <laughs> he's like, and he didn't get to play in the Major League Baseball until he was 45 years old because he was black. Why is he... Why is he the Pope? Why is he explaining American history to the Pope? He's sitting... This woman's probably just like, he's out of his mind. He's saying pitchers usually lose their arm by 35. I can't, can't shut it off. Shut it off. <laughs> and he's still the. What the fuck? He's li- like telling a random story that makes no sense. How old would you be if you didn't know how old you were? It's a joke, by the way. The whole story is a joke. Hey, let's do something. Never tell a joke to someone that is this long when you need a translator. Ruins the timing. You're 65, I'm 60. <laughs> the, also, you notice how the Pope laughed before he got the translation? Because yes. he's like, give me, give, please get me out of here. I hate this. Also, <laughs> could you rewind for a second? Yeah. Joe Biden talks always like he's just about to make out with you. Or die. I didn't get the death one as much. <laughs> That's not how I look at age. I'm sorry. What is Boys. I'm sorry. That's not how I look at age. <laughs> I look at it this way. Oh my God! He keeps how trying to leave. How old would you be? Yeah. If you didn't know how old you were. Look. Yes. Yeah. He's getting close. Look. Mad eye contact when he's looking away. Sixty-five. I'm sixty. A little tilt in. Dude, he's ah, he's scary. Wow, he, big ears too. He realize. scares me. He's he needs to be. He's it's just like, dude, let's but get him. But that's the leader of our nation is having that interaction. And what's crazy is that we were also saying that for the past four years, just about other stuff. I know. So in reality, it's just changed. We're just waiting for Kamala. Yeah, no, I'm waiting for Kamala. No. I am. I'm sorry. She's not doing anything. She's out. I don't even. I haven't even seen her. She said, "Don't." I cry, I cry. Oh, <laughs> you can keep talking. She's the new. Look. She's the new transporter. Yeah, she, <laughs> Kamala now, Harris. Now that's is, a great presidential campaign. She would get in. <laughs> <laughs> and it's her saving Joe. I would love that. I would love that. <laughs> that's awesome. Also, Kamala, did you know? We need you. Yeah. What? That Jill Biden is the first Italian American first lady. Whoa. Yeah. I like that. Bonacera, senorita. <laughs> Bonacera. <laughs> okay, now okay. let's see something that lifts us up. Good. Always um, got to lift. Always got to lift. So uh, this is a senator mm-hmm. who is, um, I guess, having some kind of hearing mm-hmm. with the big, with big oil, oh. right? Okay. And she just lays into him. Good. Hey, would you work, please? How many acres of public land are already leased by fossil fuel companies and not even used yet? Just available or drilling whenever you decide. I think you have a fundamental misunderstanding as to how this process works and the time. Claiming my time. Let's go, bitch. 13.9 million acres. To visualize how much land that is, if each grain of rice were one acre, that would be 479 pounds of rice. Now, what's crazy is that she had to go to the store and buy all this and thinking in her head, she's like, this is going to look so fucking badass. And I hate that we ha- that our, our uh, elected officials need to go to stunts like these to make Costco a point. Membership. But like... That kills me because also I love the automatic. Yeah, she, when she heard it, she was like, "Get God fucking ready!" Like everyone's trying. Even they don't even know. Now I'm for this, but even senators are trying to make viral videos. I know. You it's know what exhausting. I mean? She literally is like, "I'm making a viral video," but also claiming my time. Love that. Incredible. No. Miss Watkins, do you support a pause on new federal and gas leases? No, I do not. But I think it's important. You already have 13.9. Let's go, acres. bitch. This is equivalent to Maryland and New Jersey combined. How much more do you need? That's right. How much more acreage? You have two of our 50 states at a price that makes the Louisiana purchase look like a ripoff, and you're not even Fucking using it. flaming what more them. do you need? Iowa, Colorado, Virginia? Our public land belongs I'm like really to the American turned on. people, not Me too. to big oil. When you lobby and you sue so that you could take more of our public land, you're saying too much is never enough. <sighs> 
That's the state of things. Them, but that is them. the state of things. That, we are f- all at crisis points. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That is unbelievable to me. But my thing is that, like I said, like, it's like she has to literally make it into a viral video in order for it for to people be taken to, seriously. To taken seriously and for it to get out there. For people to care. It's really shocking. It is it, very shocking. It really is. I find myself, because of my job, like uh-huh. learning more and more about What's who's going on? in charge. And it's no one good. It literally is no one Absolutely good. Absolutely no one. Even no the one. best parts of the government are really bad and so money focused. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's tough. I'm anyway, definitely so going to be in a commune. Be, that was supposed to be uplifting and so that it's there are, in the there way are that's some like, representatives yes. that are trying to stick it to big They're oil. Doing, I'm with that. That's a cow. That's a cowboy angel. You know what I mean? She's, yes. she's like, yeehaw, but also like, uh-huh. this is information people need to know. Exactly. That's she's, she's going against them. And yeah. look, she knows she's playing the game in the sense that she goes, I know this is going to be clipped and thrown yeah. out there. But that's the that's what we live in now. I know. You There's gotta get like, Gen Z on board. Dude, it's uh mm. it's it's sad, but hey, that's what I mean, she's getting us to talk about. That's it, true. Right? What's um, her name? When I downloaded the video, mm-hmm. it didn't show her name. Okay. But we can look up um Yeah, look it up. We uh, should know that stuff. We should. Representative Big Oil Web. Rice. I'll just literally look up big oil rice cool. and it'll probably You should be a CEO. a CEO. S E O expert. Rep- uh, Representative Porter. Cool. <laughs> Daily Mail. Representative Porter opens a trunk full, all caps, <laughs> full of rice and M M&M and M candies to blast big oil over land. What a horrible slam! T- Shell CEO for greenwashing during congressional hearing. Greenwashing. Haven't heard about that. I like that. Katie Porter. Now, I don't want to look into her because I bet you I'll probably find some shit that I don't like. Yeah. But I'm just happy she's doing this. Absolutely. You know? Thank you, Katie. Thank you, Representative Thank, Katie Porter. Yes, Representative Katie Porter. I'm not sure where she's from. 2022. Yep, Democratic Make representative. Make sure you guys vote next week. Yeah, thank you. Oh, and this is her. Uh, oh, and then she she makes another point. You know what it is? It's kind of funny. She's treating them like children. Mm-hmm. She's Which like, I love. She's like, hey. Here's a good way to visualize Here's something what you're you doing. You can understand. And another, in another example, she illustrates uh, all the props and money that the Congress is giving to Big Oil with uh, peanut M and M's. I'm obsessed with her. <laughs> Which is very funny. You know why? Because that's what Big Oil and big companies do to us. I like that. Okay, Rep. Rep. Katie Porter. Let's see where she's from, just so everyone can know. Because um, you're getting your information today, guys. I hope we're your okay. only news source. Where you? I hope we're <laughs> your only news source. <laughs> Where do you get your news from? California. Okay. Oh, cool. Minivan. Okay, not a big fan of her uh, bio. Minivan driving single mom, law professor, consumer advocate, usually carrying a whiteboard, always bringing the receipts. There's he, a lot going on there. He could have just said representative for California District 45. Proud single mom, because they are stigmatized quite a bit. Are they single moms? I'm, 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 yeah, I guess maybe I don't realize that because I'm like, go single moms. Yeah, yeah, good for you. I mean, it's um hard. That's what I mean. The hard, very hard to so do. So that you have this one idea of like, why are you single? It might, you know, oh, you know it's like that stuff. Saying. Oh, it's your fault. Yeah, it's your fault. And every kid needs a dad or well, a partner. But if the people who are judging single moms are people who are like. They need a dad. Now, McDonald is a progressive-ass <laughs> farmer right here. You see that? <laughs> she, 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 goes, she, goes, <laughs> she goes, got myself out of that one. Yeehaw. Uh, now, let's switch the tide a little bit. Or yeah. let's, uh, let's switch the energy. I want to tell you, um, now, on a previous episode, hmm. we talked about how I thought it was loftily wedded. Okay. Yes, very good. And we got over that. Yeah. It's lawfully. Mm-hmm. I learned. But loftily would also make sense. In a way, yes, it would. In some way. Um, I've now realized two other words that I've now one of these I I realized a long time ago. Okay, but the other one it was two weeks ago. All right, because we haven't seen me. each other in a while. I know. Um, the word comeuppance. Okay, mm-hmm. you're gonna get your comeuppance, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? I thought mm. it was come up ins. What would- you're gonna get your comeuppance? I just thought it was a saying. What would I've ends never, mean? It's just gonna like come, the stuff is gonna come up in you. Like it's just <laughs> like all the all the bile and dirty filth is gonna come up. In, I, I don't know. I just heard it. I had come never. Come up in. It's gonna. You're gonna get your come up ins. I just thought it was some old shit from the westerns that they said that didn't really make sense, and so we just accepted it, right? Now I'm yeah. admitting this stupidity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes. The, for posterity, this is yes. being recorded. Everyone knows stupidity. 
and I was trying to type it to someone else. Uh -huh. And Siri was so confused yeah. that she couldn't even give me the right the answer. Auto correct right answer. <laughs> I had to look up come up ins and coming coming to terms with the fact mm -hmm. that I wasn't the first person to make this mistake. No, of course not. It's actually come up ins. Yes, one word. Come C O M E U P P A N C E. A N C E. Oh, come up ins. Come up ins. But people, but but now I blame it on the fact Whoa. that people are saying comeuppance. It's comeuppance, but they're saying it wrong. So then I, how can I be held responsible for not knowing this word when people are not pronouncing it correctly? Yes. <laughs> okay. I'm too busy transporting people yeah. <laughs> to know Wait, that. <laughs> I didn't know it was come up pants. Come up pants. Yep. That's so nuts to me. But not with a T with it. No, I know, but like. Phonetically, yeah, come A N C E, come up and that's crazy. I, I don't know what the etymology of that is. Let's check it out. Etymology. Similarly, I thought it was all intensive purposes. Oh, all intents and purposes. And so when people would say it, and I'm like, not only is it the purpose, but it's like, it's intensive. Like, see, I can understand. Yeah, you, you know can, what I mean? Yeah. One per one of my friends thought it was intense. Some people thought. It, some people will think and purposes. Intense. All intense. Oh. Oh, and that's I was just like, a literally stupid person. Tell me how that makes sense. Keep going. <laughs> um, some people think it's a uh, blessing in disguise instead of blessing in disguise. Wait. Blessing in disguise. <laughs> Which, again, I could see from God, you know? I do love that. Yeah. It's similar to comeuppance. It's just they say it so quickly. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Oh, it was a blessing in disguise. That is so And they're, they're like, funny. Oh. Yeah, blessing in disguise. But in reality, I'm like, I'm a, I'm, a, <laughs> I'm a magician. I go and shoot. There's your whoa. Yeah. whoa. You thought dollars. it was a rabbit, but now <laughs> it's it's actually an increase of spending on your credit card. Okay, so okay. come up and very cool. Learning um, something new every day. Come come through. Okay, okay. Hold on a second. Come this is just someone breaking apart. I don't like this. I don't like this. I have to assume it's old English. Come up and. To appear, oh wait, but to appear before a judge, that's the original meaning of it, I think. Whoa, and so that's your comeuppance. You're, oh. get, you're getting your just desserts, like you're getting um, just desserts, deserves. Is it just deserves or is it just desserts? I don't did know. I just now. Fuck, did I just fuck <laughs> up again? Wait, you said just desserts, but I think it's just deserves, but that also doesn't make any sense. No, it's just desserts. Wait, this is just desserts.com. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at carrot cake. <laughs> just, despite its pronunciation, just desserts. Oh, it has one S. Oh, is the oh. proper spelling for the phrase meaning the punishment that one deserves. The just. The phrase is even older than dessert. Ha That's who the, is who dating this? Who's carbon dating? <laughs> who the fuck? Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! The Greeks were eating desserts. It's even desserts. older than dessert. What is, uh, the Greeks were it's, fucking yeah. eating honey off yeah, each other. Okay, serious. that's. And they were going, time for dessert. <laughs> <laughs> Merriam-Webster, just desserts or just desserts? Oh, that's no. so funny. It, it it came from reference to some discipline involving... Being in the desert? Like being be banished? The English language is fond of occasionally its whimsical and illogical side. Um. Okay, history of just desserts. <laughs> um, it's a noun form of dessert, which means deserved reward or punishment. Never. I don't think it's used anymore. I don't think so either. Um, but interesting. Okay. Very cool. The punishment sense has already been in use for several hundred years by the time we got around to adopting that. Oh, wait. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. They're saying the word dessert yeah. came around in English, 1600. Oh. But the concept Eternal. of dessert. Forever. One of the first things. Yeah. I think the first. One of the. I think the I think first person to eat, ate, they ate the yeah. meal, they ate yeah. the elk, whatever they had, yeah. and they went. I need, Ooh, sweet. I need something sweet now. Uh, sweet. So, sweet. 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 Sugar. Yeah. And then the, <laughs> sucrose. Sucrose. Yeah. <laughs> they, they said the biological term for it. Yeah, the chemical term for it. And then they found something. Should, they found an elderberry. They found an elderberry. Yeah, they did. The oldest of all the berries. And they lived a really long time. And they lived a really long time. <laughs> and they, they slept well because elderberry yes. is good for your <laughs> immune system yes. and sleeping. That's what happened. That's the awesome. first person. Oh, elderberry. Oh, berry, sweet. And they went, oh. Dessert. Dessert. Yeah. <laughs> and they were like, dessert. It's 1600. Deserved that. 
But yeah, and then we're imagining they came in spirit English, which of course they did not. But it's easier for our brains to make that work. So that's cool. So just dessert, we learned. Nice. With one, we're teaching you guys a lot of vocabulary yeah, whoa, today. Whoa, whoa, and grammar. I love this. Yeah. Just dessert. Come up and cool. Okay. That's big. Coming one. up before a judge. Yeah. Now it makes sense. You're, yeah. you're gonna you're gonna get your uh, dessert punishment or whatever. Yep. Now another word. Mm-hmm. I figured this out a long time ago. Okay. But this one. Truly mm. makes no sense why I thought it. It, it makes sense because it sounds phonetically, it sounds like this. Okay. But it makes no logical sense. Uh-huh. And every time that I heard it, mm. I was confused mm. and just pretended like I wasn't. Okay, let's hear it. Euthanasia. I thought it was. Oh my God, don't even say it. Youth in Asia? In Asia. <laughs> <laughs> This dog and needs euthanized. They need to be euthanized. And I thought, I'm not sure what's <laughs> like happening <yunged> up. <laughs> over in Asia with young people, but it's fucked up. Or I was like, I just don't know this word and I'm just going to keep going. <laughs> Ooh, that is so funny. And until probably I was 20, 21, yeah. I realized like, oh, youth it's, in it's Asia. You, you, I just thought euthanasia. So when people were like, ban euthanasia, you were like... Yes. I was like, yo, (laughs) one of my friends is Asian, dude. What the fuck? You can't just ban him. You can't just ban him? And why is it only young people? Oh, we're chill with old in Asia? Old in Asia? Old in Asia is when you bring someone back to life. If euthanasia is when you kill someone, old in Asia is when you bring someone back to life. And it's spelled old like like A yes. like A U E A U X and then E N A A T I A or some shit like that. I'm just thinking about old. all of the verbs around euthanasia. If I'm a person that thinks it's about people, you're like, so everyone's chill with genocide, right? Is yeah. what I'm hearing. I'm like, so we're that just killing is so funny. Young Dylan. people in Asia. I'm like, what's the deal? <laughs> what's going What's up with that? Is that why people are immigrating here? Because they're worried about the youth in Asia that's <laughs> getting murdered? I, I, I would. <laughs> Let them in. They're killing young people? <laughs> Literally, that's what I... I'm obsessed. That's hilarious. Okay, one that I learned two weeks ago, which is shocking, but also shows you where my brain is at culturally. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's the Celtics. No, it's the Celtics. My The basketball team. I've been saying... The Boston team, the Celtics. And it's not like I talk about basketball that much. But I finally was in a car with people who watch basketball. Wait, hold on. You called the Boston Celtics the Boston Celtics? Yeah, because in every other thing, that's how you say, say that word. So why would they, on purpose, make it different? You know what I'm going to say? You're right. Right? You're right. And no one has corrected me in my life, but... Let's say it's probably come up four times that I talk about them. Total and they've just much. secretly been like, what the fuck is she? What is she talking why about? Why did she say it like that? Why did she say it like that? Yeah. The original word is Celtic. Yes. So. So. Bo- and I know exactly who so made look, that call. You can mm. call it Celtics, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. no one should ever correct you. No. Because originally... You're using a word that's not ours. Also, the theme is shamrock. You're expecting me to t- to be like, you know what? I bet You're doing this word a is said show different. Of of Irish people, and I'm not going to call them the correct name. I'm not going to do them the honor. The honor of pronouncing the word my correctly. My ancestral language. Yeah. No They'd way, like, bro. You could call the fucking basketball team the Jalapenos. Yeah, or the yeah. Germans, right? Instead of what? The Germans. Oh yeah, no, it's the Germans. It's the Germans. It would be funny if it was the Germans. Though. The Germans actually does sound like... I do like, love that. And it reminds Let's me of, go Germans! Let's go Germans! But it does, it does remind me of the Grauman's Chinese Theater. Oh. Just Germans reminds me of Grauman's. Okay. I don't know why. That's okay. We're just doing word association. We are. It's okay. Next up, Rorschach test. Next up. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of words we don't know here. I love that every day there's a moment where I'm like, oh, I don't even know what I don't know. Like, mm-hmm. I'm fully out of the zone of, like, I'm pretty smart. And now I'm just in the zone where, like, I made it this far, but mm-hmm. I know, I don't know, like, 90% more than I know. A lot. You know what I'm talking well, about? So much more. You don't and know. it's actually very freeing to it's hit freeing. that. I mean, it's why I constantly say I'm dumb because I know there's so many things that I don't yeah. know. Yeah. You're dumb, but you're not stupid. We're dumb, but we're not stupid. Difference. It's huge difference. Smart enough yeah. to realize I was stupid for thinking comeuppance. And euthanasia 
were what they were. The euthanasia d- one. Crazy. You know what's so great, though? I believe your core was so in it. Like, every time it happened, you were like, I still, I think I got to follow up I on was like, this. this. Yeah, exactly. And I kept putting a little bookmark. Of course. And I just never got to because it. Because you're there like. There were a lot more tabs open. Yeah. There were like 3,000 tabs just yes. preoccupied with women. And yeah. then it was like, get to the euthanasia one. <laughs> And that was my younger years. And now <laughs> Priorities have and shifted. Now if it was really euthanasia in the way that you thought, you would care about that a lot today. Yeah. Oh, I'd be. Instead of women. I'd be picketing about it. Yeah, you would. I'd be. At, You'd be on IG be, Live about it. Uh, guys, we need to talk about <laughs> euthanasia. Why is no one talking about this? This is fucked up. Why is everyone. You like start checking in with people. I go, stop calling it that when you do it to your dog. <laughs> it's disrespectful. Okay. Stop calling them wife beaters and stop calling it euthanasia. Same principle. S- same principle. Stop calling same them wife beaters. Ca- stop calling them wife beaters. One of my friends, my cousins used to call him white. He thought it was not wife beater, mm. white beater, because they have like little, they feel, it looks like they have little beads on them and they're white. Yeah. So he would call it a white beater. And then if he was gray, he'd call it a gray beater or a black beater or whatever. And I'm like, I actually like that more yeah. because it doesn't have the connotation of beating domestic your, violence. Domestic <laughs> violence, domestic abuse. But where are the beads? But also black beater doesn't sound Black great. beater doesn't. You have to really pronounce the beader. beader. Yeah. Beader. Hey, can I get that black beader? Beater. Yeah. And even when you say because there are yeah. people with accents. Yes. Beater. Mm-hmm. It still sounds like some some person from Boston saying just beater. It, yeah. Fuck Boston. Fuck. <laughs> fucking fuck Boston, Boston, dude. <laughs> Honestly. I'm out. Yeah, I'm, I'm I've out been there in so long. I don't, I don't think back. I've ever had the th- and people in Boston who were there. One uh, love. No offense. One love. Yeah. I don't think I've ever had the thought in my head. I need to go to Boston. No. No. Never. I've never been like. <laughs> it's time for Oof. me to go to Boston. I am craving in, some Boston time. You know where I haven't been in a while? <laughs> Boston, Massachusetts. Massachusetts. <laughs> I can't wait to go back to Boston. No. Never. I'll watch. The, Never. I'll watch. Uh, Bars close at nine, and everyone is a there's raging 6, alcoholic. Six thousand colleges there. Six thousand. I'll watch the town once every, you know, that or <sighs> Manchester by the Sea, and that's it. That's, that's all. So I, funny. Yeah. That's all I need. Um, let's go socks, though. I want to. Let's go socks. Uh, but not actually. Let's no, go. no. Let's go Mets. Um, I'm gonna tease something mm-hmm. that I want you to talk about the next episode, but I okay. want you to to get all the feelings and memories back because okay. we never talked about this. This is from. I think over a month ago, but okay. I wrote it down. Okay, cool. You never told a story about you being forgotten at sleepaway camp. So let that all come up. And for the next episode, that's a teaser, guys. We're going to start with that one. We'll start with some of that. Now, here's an idea I had the other day. Oh, and we'll be drinking. So that'll we be, will be a drinking. perfect combo. Here's an idea I had the other day. <laughs> okay. Um, And I was sober, actually, which is kind of strange. Oh, mazel. Just walking around. Hate when that happens. Yeah, <laughs> just, just hating that. <laughs> Do you think... Uh-huh. That there are other country versions of ourselves just living lives that are like just a Spanish lily. A hundred percent. Almost exactly the same. Might even look similar. Yeah. Same, almost same brain. Yeah. Just happens to be in Spain. I have two stories that confirm that. We're just all in. Di- we're just different country versions of ourselves. Yes. And if we all get together. We'll be all right. What would happen? And it's not the dopp- It's not a doppelganger thing. No, it's not a doppelganger. It is they like might circumstantially. Like you, but they might, yes, it had similar looking lives. parents, upper middle class, but worked really hard. Right, it's that level. The essence of Lily is them. Yes. maybe the way they look a little different. Yes, culturally, whatever is is happening. But there. like humor and pop culture. I okay. So one time, mm-hmm. I was in Poland with chamber choir in college. Okay, incredible. Yeah. The discotheque. (laughs) And we're at a church and we were doing a concert. This girl walks in to the church and I am like, like immediately like zap. Like I like was drawn to her. Feel some energy. Tall, pale, blue eyes, thick glasses, curly hair, like flowy, like modest, but you could tell she's not, you know, uptight. Right. Like literally... She's cool. She's she fun. sits down alone. She came to a choir concert alone. I'm like, oh, okay. You know what I mean? After the show, you know, we do like a little like, um, not a meet and greet because they're like Polish people are like, we don't obviously know who you are, but it was free, so we came. Yes. And I go up to her and I'm like, hi, thank you so much for coming. She doesn't speak any English because she goes just like, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, you're like. 
That that is exactly what I would do. And then I know what she did. She walked away and she was like, "What the fuck was that?" She goes, "What was that?" I gave her two. She goes, up. "Why could I understand what she was thinking, even though we didn't say anything?" It was really powerful. Yeah. What about you? Ever ever have an experience? I've never had. The the thing is, I maybe I was thinking that because I've never had that experience. But I was mm. like, I'm sure there's another yeah version of me definitely and somewhere else. But and I was like, I wasn't even thinking like uh, Europe. I was thinking like meeting like Indonesian Dylan Ooh. and just being like s- such a different world. But yeah. then all these things still happen. Yeah, and we still laugh. The cr- and I was like, that would be a surreal moment. Definitely to just meet them and go, whoa. Do you believe in twin flames? What's that? The thing that Megan Fox and Machine Gun Kelly say they are. Where it's like two I, I'm, halves I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you something hole. right now. I don't believe anything <laughs> that comes out of either of their mouths. I know. They're both extremely mentally ill <laughs> and also just are being so histrionic, okay? And that's a word that I learned from you, and it is true because yes. they're the epitome of it. Hey, yes. how do we turn our fucking relationship into a meme? Into, into a, a meme. Into a meme. People are trying to turn their lives into memes because they want to feel like um, important and yes. in, the, in the know yeah. or like... In the lexicon. In the zeitgeist, exactly. Yes, yes, yes. They, they, they want to they want to feel like a vogue or whatever, yeah. like the word I'm but trying to find. But they also want to still be kind of folky, which I hate. How are they being folky? Yeah. They're, they're not. But the way that celebrities are now being, it's like we're one yeah. of you. Like, it's more than just our craft. It's like our essence, right? Oh, yeah. They're like, like taking pictures of them like sitting at McMail urinals. Like, oh, what are you doing? What are you I go, doing? just be rich. Ser- just, we, we, everyone wants to be, just be rich and be like, hey, look at these I cool know. rich things I do. You don't Seriously. have to be normal like us. We no. don't want that. No. We want getting to that level to yeah. be something and else. And I want you to be super chill about it. Yes. Okay, that's why, okay, I'm... Really, I'm loyal to this podcast, but I've been listening to another podcast recently. <laughs> You're allowed to listen to other podcasts. No, 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 no. You're not supposed to listen to ours after we do it. You know? And I actually don't Good. ever. Yes, smart. But yeah, but we I both just, throw up. I yes. would just. I'm just letting you know. Got it. Okay, you're seeing podcast see, allegiance, you're, but you're seeing another. I'm you're, seeing another podcast. You're experimenting. Yes, yes, yes. You're pod curious. This is my... Oh, you're pod curious. I am pod curious. I've yeah. been out of it for so long. Yeah. But I was recommended the podcast Smart List with okay. Jason Bateman, Will Arnett, and Sean oh, Hayes. Oh, you listen to that one? I'm obsessed with it. I uh, love it. I it, feel just like... Just by looking at the cover art, I was like, this is just a money grab for three No, it's really not that. They are very normal seeming. They're all part of uh, iconic shows and it's like not really okay. a thing that they talk about. Okay. Like for me, Sean Hayes, really showstopper of Will and Grace, which is a n- more niche show uh, I've never seen them in that, than yeah. like Arrested uh, Development, Ozark, yeah. Bojack Horse, you know, like yes. it's so interesting for my brain because like that is actually where my... Um, taste stops like the three men like Arrested Development Those three guys. okay yes like nothing new I haven't watched Ozark I don't watch Bojack Horseman right yes Ozark's amazing but yes I got but you. they are all part of older shows mm-hmm. that I fucking am obsessed with yes so they're talking and they casually but like real talk about mm-hmm. how rich they are yes and what they're able to do because they're so rich yes but it's never like but I'm in low low. I'm like one of you, right? No, like no, they're no. just they're, they're talking like, about oh, first class and meeting Paul McCartney and th- like yes, they're not like oh, but I I donate so much. No, they're not embarrassed yes. by their riches. No, they're not because they all worked really hard. And but I, also no matter what, to just be. I mean, we be rich. We don't want you to be embarrassed by your riches. Yeah, don't be an asshole about it. Correct. But don't be embarrassed by it. Hey, I got a shit ton of money. Yeah. Okay. Great. Yeah. I I want I to want hear. That. I want to hear about your stories mm-hmm. being in first class or doing this stuff because I'm not. Able to be I there. Will never be there. I most likely will never be there. I I'm want to hear the lotto a, quite a bit. A lot. Okay. I'm Mama loves some scratch offs. You and those doing those numbers, okay? I'm picking my numbers. Yeah. They're not getting chosen. I have a nickel on me at all times. I want to hear about what it's like in the Maldives with your butler and the crazy thing that happened with him. And you ran into Julia Roberts. Exactly. If I ran into Julia Roberts, it, it I shit. would smell her. <laughs> Julia. Julia. Hi, so nice to meet. And then you just, that's it. Is that Mark Jacobs Daisy? You go, that's all I needed. And you just keep Thank walking. Thank you. Mystic Pizza was really good. Thanks. Yeah. Anyway, who would you want to smell? Oh, man. <laughs> Let's roll through this one. Um, Chris Hemsworth, maybe? You get one sniff. 
and all the celebrities, and you choose Chris Hemsworth. Wait, of all the celebrities? Yeah, you can sniff only one celebrity in your oh, lifetime. Oh, okay, hold on. Um, I wouldn't sniff Julia Roberts. You know who I would sniff? Who? Leah Schreiber. I want to say Jeff Goldblum, but they're... <sighs> oh, a lot of sandalwood. Yeah. A lot of musk. A lot of musk. <laughs> Who's a... Wait, can I do... F- I don't want to say female because it's going to make me seem kind of weird. I just said Leah Schreiber. I'm at the armor. In a full... Yeah. She is going to I was watching Bond. Great. How was it? Okay. Okay. Fun, mm. but maybe I'm over the movies. Yeah. Or maybe they tried to make it too... Woke? Confu- no, no, not oh. woke at all, okay, which good. was nice. Okay. Too okay. confusing. Yeah. Uh, they were just, there were a lot of plot holes where I was like, is no one going to explain why this is acid? Yeah. They were just like... They didn't even say it's acid. Uh Someone falls into liquid and then they just burn up. And then no one goes, what is that? That's uranium. People are just like farming in it. And you're like, wait, what? There's there's, there's just not not a lot of explanation. Oh, I don't like that. The villain is not well written. Mm. I don't know why Rami Malek. It's it's, Rami Malek? It's Rami Malek. And I feel bad for him because it's like, he was trying to be this villain, but they didn't really give him a lot. And he's very talented. Yeah, the timeline doesn't really make sense. Okay. Um... The main actress is fine, but Leah Seda. Leah Seda, very beautiful. So gorgeous. Looks Russian, by the way. Mm-hmm. I know she's French, mm-hmm. but it looks very Russian. Yeah. But they also didn't really give her. And look, I'm okay. Sometimes. So the writing was meh. It's the writing. Yes, I'm okay, okay sometimes when someone is just there as uh, there's probably a word for it, but like not the heroine, but the the um, like. Ingenue, who, someone mm-hmm. that gets like saved, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. that's a trope of movies. It's fine. Mm-hmm. I understand. That's a. It's also a very Bondy thing. They and have to stay, also, yeah. stay true to Bond. Okay, you get the exactly. Stay true to Bond. Yeah, you got you got the Ingenue. She's beautiful. You, yeah, she's demure. She's coquettish. All that stuff. He's into her. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. what the this world is. It's also a world where Daniel Craig can do crazy things. So I'm gonna like yeah. lean into it. It's fine. Sure. But there was it was so empty that I was kind of like give her like something to. Yeah, it's just her with her child. Just to the point where I'm like. Okay, the writing was anymore. just yeah, but the whole re- the the movie was fine. Mm. I honestly think it was one of the worst Bonds, mm. but it was a good way for it to go out. So Anna De Armas in it. Anna De Armas comes on screen. Yeah, that's it. I'm not kidding. Yeah, all of, I'm with like four guys. Yeah, we all <laughs> look at each other, look back to the screen. I forgot <laughs> every times table I've ever learned in my life. I I f- honestly <laughs> forgot my name. She, she's so fucking beautiful. Like, she's so beautiful, and she's like kind of fun and like they like she like they like make her like kind of dumb in it, but like also she like is good with the go or whatever. Like yeah, they, they, she played that part well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's one part where he thinks that they're gonna hook up, and she's mm-hmm. like, no, 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 no. She goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. love. And, but it w- she should have been in it more. Mm-hmm. She stole the entire movie, of course. But she, came, I haven't had someone come on screen like that. Yeah, and she, your me, breath was taken away. Breath. T- Taken, my dia- my diaphragm was paralyzed. <laughs> Breath wasn't just taken. My I larynx. was un- unable to breathe. <laughs> I was unable to breathe. And then when I did, all, all I could say was, oh, no. <laughs> You're disgusting. You're disgusting. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, the only way I breathed was this. your last words. Oh, yeah. <laughs> those are my last words of my dying deathbed. And every guy at the funeral is <laughs> like, Totally. Dick. <laughs> Dick. Oh, no. Dick. They are most Dick. But there's a smile. There's a smile on my face. The nurse is like. <laughs> <laughs> Time of death. <laughs> 245. 2.45. Last words. Yeah, last word. Oh. On the day. Oh, Miss question <laughs> <laughs> and your brothers come in they're like that's the way you want to go you out to go. On the, it's you, you at this age by the yeah, way people see me and th- they see in the corner of the room there's a picture of her that's why I said it yeah or or I go <laughs> like I'm confused because I like, I'm like, she, like she's the, she's the angel of Gabriel yes the white light <laughs> oh my god hold on let me oh we love you Anna Anna de Armas um no time to die yeah Show me some goods. I mean, that's why I watched Knives Out a couple times. I really, honestly... It's funny. Isn't it fun to be giddy about beauty? But it's... I haven't been affected by someone like this in a long time. Yeah. 
Oh, I, yeah, okay. Yeah. Can I be honest with you? When when Thor first came out, it was like in my peak hormone years. Yeah. I was I was uh Yeah. I was blown away. Watching it and you're like Whew. Like I remember being like that's possible for someone? You go, wow, is that? Hop, 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 hop. Yeah, yeah, literally. Um, you're, the, you're like when the dogs tease sometimes. Yes. Like, and also, can I be like sad, but then pick it back up? Yeah, yeah. That was also, I think, the origin of the like, uh, oh, life is different for beautiful people yes. time. So then it it wasn't like, I got to get me one of those. It was more like. I'll never. I, what is the point of this? <laughs> If that's a thing that also exists. You go, this is not fair. Mom, I like look at my parents like, are you fucking kidding me? You have the audacity to make this? You go, we're the same species? We, that, we've been in the same state at the same time, potentially? No, thanks. Uh, 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 shocking. Shocking beauty. Shocking. Like, literally could not ever be ugly, and I know she's going to be a radiant older woman. Yeah. I, like, know. Ex- oh, my <laughs> God. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, that, yeah, this this one, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I mean, and then even with the guns, look, oh, badass, my. committed. I will say, her shooting an Uzi with one hand, I almost wanted to laugh out loud because I was like, there'd be so much kickback on that. But I didn't, I did. It no, didn't matter you can't to me. Care. You can't care. It didn't matter to me. Look and you at know her. what's the worst part? Oh man, those are the three women from. She's so hot. You know what's the worst part? Huh? She, she was this with. I, we can't talk about it. We can't talk about it. I don't find him attractive at all. And I can't believe this he... fucking guy. Also, then he went from her to Jennifer Lopez. What is he doing? He must have... Ben, what? I don't even Zeus's think... Zeus's cock. I, uh, <laughs> but do we... <laughs> like... But do we think it's that for women that are of this age? Aren't they like... Oh, they're like, they need a guy that's not just a good dick? No, what I'm saying is... For must, me, at this looking that way, you know what? It can't be. He just, it can't be his personality. It cannot be his. It can't personality. be his personality. It cannot be his personality. Yeah, yeah. Like he's not ugly. I'm this not. This is just, her going to grab coffee. Wowie. And I'm like, let me build something for you. I will build you a. I'll build a you cabinet. A, home. <laughs> I, a cabinet, anything. I will redo your wow. countertops. Also, like, he's a dad. Fuck you, Ben Affleck. Fuck dude. I'm you, ben so Affleck. mad at you, bro. Also, like, maybe you know what? I want to have more <laughs> hope in humanity. So maybe he's actually very nice. Because think about the women he's been with. Anna. Jennifer Garner. Jen Garner. Who is literally America's angel. Okay. Lopez. Lopez. Who else? Cameron Diaz, who's so cool. Cameron Diaz. Yeah. I just, <laughs> just felt good to say it that way. She would like that. Yeah, she would. Comment she, on Diaz. Okay, not going to lie to you. She is someone that, like, every time I read, like, the her and Snoop Dogg went to high school together and mm-hmm. she bought weed off of him. Yeah, I'm yeah, always yeah. like, how does Snoop feel about that? You know what I mean? Oh, that she's putting it out there? Yeah. Yeah. Because it's not like it's Meryl Streep, you know, where, like, the acting caliber would be like, whoa. Like, I'm not saying Cameron Diaz. No hate on Cameron Diaz. But it's not no, like. she's not Meryl Streep. N- well, no one is. But it's not like, uh, you know. It's not Jessica Chastain, right? You're like, well, okay. yeah. You're like, the thing totally. I know you for is burping on Nickelodeon. <laughs> it would be like if Anna Ferris was like, I bought, you know, like it's like they're talented, yeah. but they're not, like it's not for Snoop. Yeah. You know what I'm talking, you know what I mean? To out him like that? I wonder if he's like. I'm sure she, her people check with his people. Of course. And he was and like, it's they great. Might be buddies. And it was an Ellen thing. Yeah. And so he got more publicity. That's true. Also, did you see him in Martha Stewart's Halloween special? What I, a I'm hoot. so jealous of him. What a hoot and, those two are. Uh, we'll talk about Martha next uh, episode because okay. we're coming to an end. But nice. I want to end this with something that, um, and then we'll, and guys, we'll do Hinge because I know we're behind on the Hinge profiles. We'll do them next step. So we'll do Hinge, When I Got Abandoned, yes. Martha Stewart, Martha. and what else? Um, maybe we'll do two Hinges. Okay, cool. And then cool. We'll, we'll see what else comes and we're um, drinking. Come to mind and we're drinking. Now, we had an episode uh-huh. where we um, had a proposition. Uh-huh. To help animals. Yeah. Right? Uh-huh. Do you remember what we said? Build bridges for deer. And we were like, put that in Build Back Better. You know, we were like, that's a thing that should happen. Yeah. Don't even. Was it put no, 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 in the infrastructure put. bill? N- it was not, but. Bridges for deer? Bridges for deer? I could cry. It's a real thing. No, wait. I'm really about to cry. Trans. And of course the Canadians are doing it. Because they shred. Because they shred. And, and they're, they're much doing their us. best. Trans Canada to- Highway, Wildlife Crossing, and Banff National Park. 
a science inspiration for averting animal deaths on the road all around the globe. I believe in humanity. I, I mean, I'm and like, we I came up with this, up. and this is something we came up with organically, and people are doing it. Bridges for deer. And making, are making highways safer for animals and That's people. Too much. That's too much. Bridges for bears and tunnels for tortoises. Too much. The alliteration. That, that literally too much. Tunnel, <laughs> tunnels for tortoises. I would love to be in a tunnel wow. with tortoises. Oh my God, so much fun. <laughs> Wow. Can you actually send me this article? Yeah. And this is a, this is a long article on um, National Geographic. We won't wow go through it. Wee. But I, I love am this. Psyched. I love these bridges. I'm I'm excited. These are great. I feel good about this. And I love this. And it's, oh, look at the little tortoise. Oh. Saving the little tortoise. And then, Nothing but it, worse. But it does show a, a sh- an absolutely a flying <laughs> timber truck. It's going so fast. It's going 110 blur, miles an hour. And this the, tortoise is like, what the fuck? <laughs> well, this shows that the tortoise wouldn't stand a chance. You're but, right. The scale. Wow. Oh. Well, yeah. But I'm. I think this is great. I'm uh, good for you, Canada. Bridges ensure pronghorn migration survives in North America. Okay. And this is what we need Home to do. Yes, I agree. Okay, well, what's going on? Too much. No, no, I don't want the guy talking. No, no, no. But yeah, this is. Yeah, this is great. Linked in me this. It's also beautiful. Gorgeous. You're getting a little bit of greenery also, on the highway. What a mystical. If I'm a deer, I'm like, where am I going? Terabithia. This shit is amazing. <laughs> Forgot about that place <laughs> until he just. The deer's going. Is this a bridge of terror with you? Hope there's no where rope I, swing. Where am I <laughs> going? <laughs> yeah. And after these bridges are built, or these bridges are built. You good? I'm good. Um, <laughs> I will say. Yeah. To the deer crossing normal. Yeah. What do you, jaywalking kills? What are you doing? What are you? What are you doing? doing? We are trying our. It's hardest. like the seatbelt, no seatbelt deal. Yeah, Guys, it doesn't look we're cool. Tr- we're, but Not it'll everything. save you from flying there's through the front gonna be, window. And, hey, you know what doesn't look cool? I'm telling you right now. You know. There's a cartoon that needs to be made with road, okay, roadkill. With roadkill, and it's and it's showing how the one deer <sighs> goes. The bridges aren't cool. Yeah. I cross normally. Yeah. He's smoking a cigarette. Definitely. Obviously, brown paper bag. Brown paper bag. <laughs> <laughs> He's just an absolute vagrant. And it shows. Listen, kids. Rules are rules are made for a reason. That's Canadian then, PSA. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's, it's like four deer. Yeah, exactly. It's <laughs> yeah, it's four deer, but the kids are also watching it. Yeah, they put those videos up, and yeah. you see the deer watching it mm-hmm. on their phone. <laughs> Just a deer smoking a cig and like ha- having a Colt forty five in his hand is very. I'm this is it. great. I'm a Banff National Park. Very Banff. cool. I don't know where it is, but I would like to go. Yeah, me too. I would like to one day I feel trek like it's here in Ontario. Banff National Park. I Can we like- put money on this? Okay. If I'm right that Banff National Park is in Ontario, mm-hmm. you are going to Uber me home. Okay. Is on- is it Ontario? Ontario, Canada. Okay. That's I'm- the province. Okay. Ontario. I don't know the state. That's fine. I'm saying it's in... What's the one... Uh, it's a long handshake, but a good one. Uh, what's- <laughs> that-, that wasn't weird. You made it weird. You made it so fucking weird. Um, <laughs> what's the one on the west side? What are the provinces? Oh, the one that's like, like Seattle. Above Seattle. By? Yeah. Um, what's that? Isn't um, not Toronto? It's not right there. Canadian um, provinces. What's the big city right there? I have no idea. I'm gonna be honest. And guys, that's my ignorance, and I'm sorry, but no, it's okay. You're talking here we go. about it. British, British Columbia. Columbia. Oh, you know what? Vancouver. I'm, I'm saying no. it's yeah. in Alberta. Ooh. Okay. Okay. I'm saying Ontario. Okay. Wow. Quebec is a big province. Big province. Um. Are the provinces there states? Or are they there states, states in, in provinces? So, like, I don't think um, Quebec is uh, not Quebec. Quebec uh, is Montreal. A state. Like there Montreal like is a city, in the but then it's a thing, right? Oh, interesting. It's okay. like Montreal in Quebec in Ontario. Banff National Park. Where is it? Come on, Ontario. Let's go, Ontario. Man. Alberta. It's in Alberta. Is it? Fuck. Is that what you said? I said Alberta. No way. Yep. Yep. Let's wow. go. Wow, wow, wow. Very cool. Look at that. What it so you didn't need anything, you just are not gonna pay for my Uber. No, I'll still probably pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> I just it's, look, I love a challenge, honestly. I love I like I'm a I'm a very stupid man. I love a test. We love an objective, and we love to... Oh, look, that's so funny. Yeah, there's one thing... You're right. I was going to be up here, and we're like, no, you're still <laughs> probably going to do you're that. You're still paying for it. I go, no, of course I am. <laughs> <laughs> but what's a national park in Alberta, or in, in Quebec? In Ontario. Oh, uh, 
You said, oh, you said So Ontario. you know what I'm saying? So it's Montreal Ontario, in National Quebec, but in, Park. oh, but that's Quebec. The, See, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, in Ontario, we got the Bruce Peninsula National Park. Very cool. The Pecosqua National I like that one. I love that like one. The, that one's 298 to fly there. Hey, let's go. Point Pele National Park, National Sanctuary with Beaches and Birds. Or Beaches and Birds. Beaches and Birds. Beaches and Birds. Tunnels for tortoises. Ton- but then Pecosqua, I'm definitely saying that wrong. Yeah. National Park, Coastal Hiking Trail, and Horseshoe Beach. Love I think that. I'm going for Pecosqua. Yeah, definitely. If, especially if it's on like a lake. Like a lake beach is one of my favorite types of beaches. And then what? The grotto. What's the grotto? Also singing sands. Is that Sing, some? Yeah. <laughs> sounds like it's um, definitely sounds like you that clothing is optional on singing sands beach. <laughs> Howdy. How you doing? Evening. Yeah, I'm new here. <laughs> you want a nude beach just to add on. Ladies. That's a <laughs> That's a look. That is a look. Walking by, the, walking by the guys. I that do are, this if it's a guy. <laughs> or if it's a guy with a, a like an absolute hog, you're like, you start, <laughs> you fan yourself. <laughs> Woo! And you go, what do we have here? <laughs> What's your name, big fella? Just absolutely objectifying him. What's your name, big fella? <laughs> I wish I could do that. I wish I could. It would free so much in me. I think maybe later in life you will, will be. It will actually set me free if I I'm think able later to do in that. life you will be. Yeah, I think so too. And you might find a man who is, is so into who it. Is into it and lets you express lets you roam. Yeah. So you guys are on the beach together. Yeah. But he sees you. He like, knows I'm gonna be looking and at the menu. He sees you like uh, because he knows you're not actually trying to go sample it. No. You just wanna enjoy the 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 mystic, like the yes, mystery the joie, of it yes. joie de vivre yes I want to exactly. be a little bon vivani but under the guise of a bit exactly yeah you just need that's need my it. sweet spot that's the the bit like goes, real life things that I need mm-hmm. out but then also like ha ha and someone's like what the fuck yeah and he sees you like and he goes go ahead yes do your thing and you know what and he he hangs back I'm gonna work on being the same for him it's not immediate. I don't love him looking at other women, but if he's letting me do it, I'm all about reciprocity. That's the foundation of a good relationship. You're right. I do think it's a little bit different because, like... Men are known to wander. Men are known to wander more. A little more statistically. Accountability. Let's full circle this. Yeah. (laughs) Here's accountability. Yeah, exactly. Hold on. (laughs) Who cheats more? (laughs) Oh, you really think... I am No, I'm just curious what the numbers are. I'm I'm almost sure it's men. I'm almost sure. I won't put money on it, though, because I'm known to be wrong. Do men? This is on fatherly.com, so I don't <laughs> I don't really know how uh, okay. ver- verified this is. Yeah. Um, also, um, but clinicians' preliminary data suggests a few theories. Um, men tend to cheat more than women. Mm. According to information collected by the 2018 General Sur- S- Social Survey, cool. 20% of married men and 30% of married women have slept with someone other than their partner. Wow. Okay. So it's almost double. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. That checks out. Yeah, that, that's what I was that thinking. That 100% checks that out. That's what I was thinking. That's less. Mm-hmm. I would think it'd be more than that well, overall. I was uh, thinking of like 35%. Think about of, the people not reporting. <laughs> yeah. They're like, it doesn't count. It was just a kiss. I would say it's more 35%, 40% of men, who yeah. are, which is like a startling number. And then like and then 21%. Like maybe 20, yeah. Women. That's what I'm Because I have thinking. actually, I think I brought this up the other day, maybe off record, but mm-hmm. I'm trying to be a little less judgmental with cheating. Obviously, it's... Uh, like number one no no like you have so many steps it's to break a, up with someone before you do it yes but a lot more uh, people in like my peer group have have, cheated. have experienced cheating uh, in various forms and mm-hmm. I'm just, it's so human and it happens a lot it does happen a lot and it is a beautiful and unfortunately very rare thing if a relationship has absolutely no infidelity. Wow, at all. I thought you were saying cheating was a beautiful thing. No. And I was like, whoa, was not That's expecting That's a turnaround. This and I'm like, honestly, I'm an turn. advocate yeah. for it. <laughs> honestly, explore the more monogamy is you- <laughs> bullshit. Okay, everyone should be polyamorous. I'm out. I'm a- <laughs> Ladies. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. All right. Okay. All right, guys. Uh yeah. <laughs> It happened. I jinxed myself. Is it going to be a good one? Well, it uh, it feels like the pizza actually. Oh, it's coming out? It did its job. Well, guys, Lily's going to go do that, and I'm going to make some drinks. We'll see you soon. Happy Halloween, everyone. Happy Halloween. Yeah. On the transport. (laughs)